Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this short video, we will going to discuss some very important questions on alkalinity. So alkalinity is basically the property of water by which water can neutralize any acid. So to determine the strength of alkalinity in a given water sample, we have to titrate it with a known standard acid. So for this we require a titration setup like this. We require a burette, a burette stand and a conical flask. In burette we will going to fill the acid which is known to us. In conical flask we will going to pipette out a given water sample and to it we need to add indicators. So the indicators which we will going to use in such titrations are acid base indicators. For example phenolphthalein and methyl orange. Other than this we may also require some glasswares like conical flask, beaker, measuring cylinder, round bottom flask, etc. So commonly asked questions are what is alkalinity? So alkalinity is the characteristic property of water by virtue of which water can neutralize any acid. How many types of alkalinities are there? So in total there are two types of alkalinities, caustic and temporary. Caustic is caused due to the presence of carbonate ions and hydroxyl ions. Whereas temporary alkalinity is caused due to bicarbonate ions. Which source of water is free from hardness and it is pure? Answer is rain water. Can you name one indicator which is pink in basic medium? It is phenolphthalein. With respect to the constituents causing alkalinity, which situation never arises? So the situation which will never arise is the presence of hydroxyl ion and bicarbonate ion. So what happens when hydroxyl ion and bicarbonate ions are present together? When hydroxyl ion is present with bicarbonate ion, it neutralizes to give carbonate ion. So in this case, Alkalinity is due to the presence of carbonate. Hence, these two combinations cannot exist together. How many conditions are possible for alkalinity to exist? So, in total, there are five possibilities for the existence of alkalinity. And what are these conditions? So, this, this is something which is very important and can be asked in your viva. The very first condition is, when the reading of phenolphthalein comes to be zero, then what does it indicate? It indicates the presence of bicarbonate ion. Now the second condition, when the reading of phenolphthalein and methyl orange comes equal. In that condition, in your water sample, only hydroxide ion is present. Rest carbonate and bicarbonate are absent. Third condition, when 2p is equals to m or we can say when p is equals to half m. In this condition only carbonate ions are present and the formula to calculate the strength of these carbonate ions will be 2 into p. The fourth and fifth condition, the last two conditions are mixed alkalinity. Very first is 2p is less than m or it can be also uh, called as p less than half m. In this condition, alkaline water may contain mixed alkaline substances. So in the very first condition, when 2p is less than m, your sample will contain carbonate along with the bicarbonate. And the formula to calculate carbonate will be 2p and for bicarbonate it is m minus 2p. The last condition which is again a mixed condition, here the condition will be 2p is greater than m or P is greater than half M. In this condition, again we will have two mixed alkaline substances in our water sample. One is hydroxide ion and second is carbonate ion. So the formula to calculate hydroxide ion is 2P minus M and for carbonate ion twice of M minus P. So this table you have to remember for answering other questions also. For example, in a viva you may be asked that if P is equals to 0, 
like the very first condition is when p is equals to 0 then which alkalinity is present so here from this table you can answer that bicarbonate is present and if p is equals to m then hydroxide ions are present so you have to learn all these five conditions so question can be asked if p is greater than half m then sample contain which type of alkaline substance so as we have studied right now if p is greater than half m then sample will contain mixed type of alkalinity and it will have hydroxyl ion and carbonate ions if p is equals to 0 which alkaline substance is present so in this case bicarbonate ions are present what is the formula to calculate carbonate ions in a water sample so from the table we have learned that to calculate the carbonate ion concentration we will use the formula 2p if a water sample contains only carbonate ions then what relation of phenolphthalein and methyl orange will be observed so again from learning the table you may answer this question that if only carbonate ions are present then the relation between phenolphthalein and methyl orange will be p is equals to half m or it may also be written as like this twice of p equals to m you may also ask give neutralization reaction of alkalinity so in alkalinity we titrate water with the given acid so acid will going to provide proton to the given water sample and these protons will neutralize the alkaline substances present in the water so the three alkaline substance may neutralize as hydroxyl if present it will take one proton and neutralize into water if carbonate is present it will again consume one proton and will form bicarbonate in third condition if bicarbonates are present they will neutralize as water and carbon dioxide so here the neutralization reactions are one is to one first two neutralization reactions are observed in the presence of phenolphthalein this one and this one to observe the endpoint of these reaction we require phenolphthalein indicator but for the detection of bicarbonate we require methyl orange as indicator and if we need to require if we need to calculate individual alkalinity we can use both the indicators and if we require to calculate only total alkalinity in that case we may use only methyl orange so question can be asked why we use two indicators in determination of alkalinity this is because phenolphthalein is colorless below 8.5 ph so it cannot be used to check the presence of bicarbonate ions it is required to use methyl orange to observe the presence and neutralization of bicarbonate moreover by using both the indicators we can get the strength of individual alkaline substances what is the disadvantage of using high alkaline water it may cause caustic embrittlement and deposition of sludges and scale in boiler tubes and joints sludges are soft ppt of hard water and scales are the hard ppts of salts present in the hard water it is required to check the alkalinity of any water sample before feeding it into the boiler what is alkaline hardness alkaline hardness is caused due to carbonate bicarbonate and hydroxyl ions of the hardness causing metals you may also learn you should also learn the structures of the two indicator so here i am showing you the structure of methyl orange and phenolphthalein thank you